Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video I'll be going over how to find and apply for sponsors for Twitch and YouTube. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Now this is a subject that I get asked about every time I mention the word sponsor or if I talk about income for streamers and I've definitely talked about it before a few times and I've definitely touched on it in a few other videos. I wanted to cover it in a full video and show how to find sponsors, affiliate programs and how to apply for them and the most important thing, are you even ready to be applying for them? A lot of people are out there applying a little bit too early. I'm going to go over some of those things. This is going to be a little bit longer of a video. If you just want to know the very basics, how to find sponsors, Google search it. Okay. Whatever company you want to get sponsored by, just Google it. That's your secret weapon. Do your work and do your research and you'll find sponsors. Are you ready for them? Is it worth your time to apply? Those are a lot of questions you're going to need to answer yourself. And I'm going to cover this here in a few segments. And if you're at three viewers, this probably is not the, the video for you because at three viewers, even at 10,000, followers you're not ready for this it's not something that you're ready for you can apply for other things affiliate programs and there's lots of other things that are not sponsors people say they're sponsors but they're not if you get a glitch energy drink sponsorship that's actually an affiliated program you're selling products and making a tiny bit of the revenue a commission a pyramid scam it's not really that great for income and it's not actually a sponsor but those affiliate programs are a lot easier to apply for for smaller streamers so if you're at three average viewers I definitely suggest going that route getting sponsored is a little bit out of the range for a three viewer 10k or under it's just the way it is it's not easy to get sponsors and nobody's definitely nobody's going to be reaching out at that and if you reach out a couple times to the wrong people and say the wrong things you'll end up burning some bridges so i definitely be mindful of what you say to them and i just wanted to make sure i said that before i jump into this now there's a few things to keep in mind when trying to make money from like streaming just in general if you have the three average viewers like i was saying your time is probably better off spent in other streamer streams watching your community and some supporting others while you build your community. If you have 10k followers and your average is three, three, no one is really going to take you serious at that size and it's kind of silly to think otherwise. Like if you think somebody's going to be trying to sponsor you with a game controller at three average viewers and none of those three viewers have any ever bought anything that you've ever had previously on your channel, it's kind of going to be a big flop and it's hard to tell somebody that right at the start when they're just starting because it's quite a grind to get to that spot to begin with and when you feel like you're just getting to a spot where you can apply and you realize you're actually pretty far away and it's just not time for you yet. Your time is better spent building your community up to a size where you'll get seen by more sponsors and that's not going to help you get a sponsor right off the bat. You're still going to have to apply for them just you'll have a lot better odds with a bigger community. So keep that in mind. Three average. This is definitely not something I would chase after. A sponsorship is not for you. You definitely need a bigger community and a lot more than three average before a sponsor is going to take you serious. I might repeat that a few times in this video but that's just the way it's going to be i keep getting asked by the same handful of people that are generating the same amount of views that aren't really growing and i just feel like they'd be better spending their time not doing research on how to make a couple extra pennies and getting sponsors and stuff like that and actually building their community would i think serve them as better uh, use of their time a lot of the things about trying to make the money online and trying to get sponsors and stuff like that is a lot of people don't understand that working a nine to five is a lot easier if you're doing less work than what you did at your nine to five job this is probably not going to be it takes a lot more work than what that nine to five job takes just it's different kind of work you have to be mindful of your content clipping your stuff you have to be in more than one place and that's another important thing if you're reaching out to sponsors and you're only streaming a single game on on twitch it doesn't matter if you have a 20 average viewing a company's not going to really take you serious if you've done nothing else and made no other content or done any other effort if you don't if it doesn't look like you did anything at all and no work going in it's going to be really hard to get a sponsor doing that so if you're ex expectations for sitting on a game were to get sponsorships and stuff like that this is not how it works there's one in a million of those people that get lucky and you can sit there for a couple of years and try it out and get stuck at the handful of average or you can try something different and that's what I suggest work on something different if you're just chasing after sponsorships or just doing this here for money streaming is probably not for you if you're just in it for money unless you already have a TV station because starting out and treating it as a job just isn't fun the less fun that you make it the less successful it's going to be so before you reach out to sponsors make sure this is actually something that you enjoy make sure that you pick products and sponsors that you're actually going to use products of or something that you already enjoy if you've never used them before and take a sponsor on just remember that that's going to damage your name all the people going to your chat that 
bought that stuff that you recommended to them is going to reflect on you. And it's 100% going to be those people getting mad at you for wasting their money for suggesting a product that you didn't even know was good or not. So that's another thing with sponsors. You have to be careful with ones you get. You want to make sure that you get something that you approve of, that you use, that you think your community is going to enjoy, and something that you know for sure you're okay with putting your name on because that's what you're doing. When you get a sponsor, you're putting your name out there. Everyone that buys that product, if they're upset with it and they bought that due to your suggestion, it's only going to reflect on you. So some of the basics before you get a sponsor, like I said, basics or just have a good size community. You'll need that before any sponsor will actually offer you anything. So make sure you're posting content on more than one platform. If you only have it in one platform, you need to take a step back and work on building your brand and your community. And even then, it will not be really easy to get a sponsor as a small streamer. But there is options. They're called affiliate programs. A lot of people mistaken these here for sponsorships. These are nothing the same as a sponsorship. A sponsorship pays you to put an ad of their product on your channel. That's 100% cash to you. You don't have to sell anything. You don't have to do anything. You just post the ad. That's a sponsorship. A sponsorship that you get something for it before you start. You, you get a contract. There's a lot more to it. But an affiliate program, you just sign up and then you sell their product and make a commission of 3%. I think in the US and Canada, they're considered pyramid schemes. Not all sponsorships are allowed in every country because of the way they work. Their ethics and the way they do it is a pyramid scam. They're going to sell you something for $12 so you can sell it to your community for $15. They're going to give you $2 out of it after taxes and they're going to charge $15 for shipping. So you're going to make $2 a product if you sell something worth $45. So that's what you're going to make off an affiliate program where a sponsor is you would get paid a couple hundred dollars to post ads. You don't need to buy product. You don't need to sell product. You don't need to do that work. You just need to put your ad there so that your community can see it. So if you have a really active community that buys lots of your stuff, anything that you suggest. So if you have three or four dedicated viewers that super want everything you have, your mice, your, it'd be more worth your time if you have those already to reach out to a sponsor because it shows that you have like some buying power in your viewers. And that's really important to a brand. Like if they don't see a value or it worth them, worth their time to give you something it's just not going to happen and as much as this sounds really negative and it's pretty much all negative sponsors aren't really a good route to go until you're a very good size and the main reason that i'm going over this video is because i keep getting asked about sponsors from people that are far from ready for for it like if you're 10 viewer that's that's just average a lot of people with 10 viewers that's sponsors really want to see you with a lot more than that don't let that stop you from trying to apply to some the key is with sponsors is you'll need to reach out to a few of them. So as you're growing, try applying to a few and you might, the worst that they can say is no, just be respectful and apply to it. And if you get a no or reject it, you just wait six months and apply again, maybe when you're a better size and grow your community. And if you continue that trend, eventually you will get one and that'll just be a cascading effect. That'll lead to the next one that leads to the next one that leads to the next one. Once you get one and you get your foot in the door and show that you're, you're actively able and capable of doing a sponsorship, a lot of other places will see that instantly and you might start getting more to reach out to you then. So it's going to take a lot of work just to be able to get started with a sponsorship and it definitely does take a lot of community building. You have to have a good sized community to get a sponsorship. Right quick, I'm going to go over, I'm going to cover how to get an affiliate program. So if you're here and I know I've been bashing on three viewer and 10 viewer, that's still a really good size when you're starting. Your first one or two years, a lot of people get stuck at that and just don't let it, just don't let it discourage you. There's lots of options for you and some of the easiest ways, this is where Google is your friend. It is the main way that you're actually going to find sponsors because that's how you're going to search them. One of the things I suggest checking out would be whatever you're looking for with affiliate program after it. So a really good example for this is MSI Gaming. So I typed in MSI Gaming, which is a company. MSI Gaming is a company and I put partner program or type in affiliate. Those are the only two things you'll really know. And the first thing that comes up says join MSI influencer program. So those are the three names you'll usually hear it called. It's going to be a partner program, an influencer program, or an affiliate program. So those are the three different programs and they have an affiliate program down here as well. And they have an influencer program. We're going to click on the influencer program because it's kind of a really good outline. It's a, a reputable brand. Everyone knows MSI Gaming, but nobody knows this here Dragon Squad because it's not really big. They only financed a couple of gamers for some big events like quite a while ago. And I don't know if they're joining a whole bunch of new members, but this is just for the example. This is how easy they are to find. You just click join. 
and fill out the information. Now, filling out the information doesn't mean that you're gonna get it. They're gonna check the size of your channel. And like I said, if, if you wanna get discouraged and you have 10 viewers apply to all these here, you're gonna get awful discouraged because you're not gonna have too many of these here talk back to you. Make sure you're actively building your community and have more than three average is a really good start before you even think of applying for things like this here. This here's not something that's three viewer. You're not gonna get this here easy. This one here is kind of a tough one, but there's lots of other ones. Dubby Energy. The Dubby Energy drinks or whatever, the sponsorship, Dubby Energy, W.GG. Make sure it's an official website. That's easy to check too. Just make sure they're official websites.com. Do a little bit of Google if they're legit. This one is legit. This one here I know for sure. And you just click on the sponsorship program and it's the same thing. You just gotta go down and fill it out and click submit. You're gonna get an email back. They're gonna check your TikTok, your kick, and anything else on this here list, your Twitter, your TikTok, and they're gonna add all that stuff together. And they're gonna, these here guys will give you one. It doesn't matter your size. They're looking for pretty much any size. They're not too picky with like a three viewer average or whatever, because what these here people are doing is they're selling a product. So you're gonna buy something for $39.99. The creator will get like one to $5 for that sale. So you're not gonna make a lot of money on this and you're gonna have to sell dozens of it to make anything. So this is not really a good way to make money, but it's a very good way to get your foot in the door and to get started. Just learning how to handle and deal with sponsorships is the exact same as affiliate programs work. You're gonna get some paperwork. You're gonna get some some product advertisements. You're gonna get some things to put on your overlays. And it's just gonna teach you to run the ads. It's gonna kind of get you into the swing of things and they're really good learning tools, but that's all they are. They're tools that you should be using. They shouldn't be making money on you. To be honest, that's not what they're there for. And they are making a lot of money from your sales. So when you, when you apply for one of these, just remember that you're making them a lot more money than what you're getting paid. So if you don't like that, maybe these here aren't for you. But I went with ones like uh, Swift Lifestyles, W Energy, MSI Gaming. There's lots of other ones. And what what you need to do is find products that you love, that you want to endorse, and that you sponsor yourself, that you're willing to put your name on. So if you're willing to put your name on something, you drink it all the time. Let's say you're into Glitch Energy drinks. Apply for a Glitch Energy program. That one's not going to be too hard to find. Let's just type it in here. So there it is, Glitch Partner Program. And we're going to take a look. Okay, so we typed in uh, Glitch Energy Canada because I'm in Canada. You might have to type it in. It's not available everywhere. All you'll need to do is go to the affiliate application. If you're following along to this here point, are you getting the hint? This is how easy they are to find. If you're looking for sponsorships, this is how you're going to find them. This is how you find affiliate programs and a sponsorship. You need to spend the time in here and Google what it is that you want to get a sponsorship from. Like I said, if it's an energy drink, if you super drink a lot of Glitch Energy, maybe it's worth your time to have your own sponsorship, buy your own from your own store, put it in in your background and sell that to your audience, your viewers, make a tiny little bit of money on something you actually love and enjoy. But please don't endorse products that you're not willing to 100% back. Because like I say, if you back a product, just remember it's your viewers that won't forget that you did them dirty. And it's you, you're responsible for the products that you are recommended. That's your responsibility as a creator. If you don't do your research and you get a bunch of bad products and your viewers get those bad products, it's your fault that you didn't do your research and you didn't look into it. And when they're mad at you, it's just you deserve to have mad viewers for you selling a bad product or suggesting a product that's not good quality. So make sure you just let them know and be honest with them. Make sure it's a product you love and just don't overspeak it too much because it could fall back on you and be bad rap, I guess is a way to put it. Sorry I'm rambling on so much. I'm trying to cover a lot of these here things. I'm trying to make it so that everyone understands the concept and I just feel like there's a lot of people asking me still not near close enough to the size or that just don't understand what work they need to put into just to get started yet. But that being said, the answer to the time old question, how do you find sponsors? Well, it's just a lot easier than people think. You just seen me do it. All you'll need to do is Google a few keywords, uh, find the programs, find that and find the applications, find the affiliate programs and apply and apply for the easiest ones you can get at first. For smaller communities, it's like energy drinks, like uh, Glitch, uh, W Energy, Swift Lifestyles, MSI Gaming, and all you'll need to do is apply. The worst thing that could happen is, well, you'll get a no for an answer, but just keep trying. Uh, most of those energy drinks and affiliate programs are gonna take you on at any size, so that's the benefit with an affiliate program. They accept anybody, because they're trying to make money, and a sponsorship is actually legit just one-way money. You're getting money just to post an ad or run it on your channel. There's no other exchange. You don't have to do any other work. It's a lot different when people are saying they're looking for sponsorships. I think they're looking for affiliate programs and they're mistaken because sponsorships are so far out of the most people's leagues that ask for it that it's just not something that I see happening until they're quite a bit bigger or just have quite a bit more motion on their channel or at least be posting content to more than one place. But again, that being said, Google is your best friend and that's how you're going to find everything that you're going to need. That's going to be all the programs 
and you'll find a lot of options as long as you're searching for that. And if you have like a pretty good sized channel, just make sure that you're an appropriate size before reaching out to bigger sponsors. The bigger the sponsor, the bigger you should be before you reach out. If you think you're going to reach out to Elgato, you're going to get a message back, probably a LOL, and you're going to get auto put in a delete pile. So the next time you send one in, you're like, you only get one chance with some bigger companies. So if you mess it up, you could put in the auto delete. Maybe you don't get that sponsorship ever again. So don't mess it up. Don't send curse words. Don't make sure it's very professional and don't spam it too many times. Don't bother them because it's so easy for somebody on the other side to just throw you in the auto junk and that's just, that'll be done with it. Nobody will ever see it again. So keep that in mind. Apply for ones that appropriate to your size. Don't apply to ones that like if they're if you think they're going to laugh at you, probably not the best ones to apply for. Like I said, like Elgato's a big one. MSI Gaming's kind of big, but not too big. If you have 20 to 50 viewers, that's probably one you could check out. And anything under that, I would just be looking for the energy drinks that are pretty much a guarantee. Some of these here programs will let you know if if you are ready, if you or if you have enough follows. The like the actually let you know because they'll have a minimal requirement. Some of the affiliate programs that have the minimal requirements, I think are a little bit better to start with because they give you a building point to build up to before you apply to it so that you're more ready to handle something like that or just it's more beneficial to you to actually do it. So that's something to keep in mind as well. If you have a big following that likes to buy lots of stuff, that is going to help you um, with getting bigger deals later on as you go, as your community grows. So that is quite important. If you have like viewers that super enjoy the energy drink, that is something if you have a good flow of energy drinks through through your channel that will get seen from other places and that will help you out quite a bit so some of the affiliate programs are actually worth your time just to get you started like I was saying earlier and it'll just give you how to work with it how to claim it on your taxes how to push it on your channel without making your viewers mad and things like that they're just really good learning points if you're a pretty good size and have an active community this is going to be great for you to be able to apply for mid-range things not big things you have to be a really big if you're if you're really big big enough for a sponsor you probably won't be looking here because you already had a sponsor reach out if you're ready for a you're probably already getting some reached out to you if you're that size so this is more aimed at mid-range to small streamers and suggest something like that you super enjoy maybe something like if you own everything lg or everything msi gaming or X Cloud or whatever HyperX or Razer depends on what ecosystem you're in that's the one I would suggest is the one you enjoy the most I would go from there for most products find something that's within your range and go from there the benefit of that is that if you get a product and you're advertising it and you already know that you love it and super enjoy it it's going to be so much easier for you to promote it and say lots of good things about it naturally without lying to your viewers so that's just a, a basic one there that that'll just give you a lot more talking points of things you already enjoy it'll make it that much easier for you to to, they'll get the vibe that you enjoy it that much. We already applied for the MSI one. I won't be able to take you through a sponsorship because the forms for a sponsorship are more email based. So what you'll need to do is go to the email, email the business address on their emails. So it's going to be a little bit harder. Like when you're in the influencer program, you'll actually, this one here is a direct one. So this one here will apply with your email address and it's applying directly to an email that's going to get back to you where W Energy is pretty much just going to send you an auto email for accept and some you'll actually actually have to find like the business email that will be in their information and you'll have to email that with like a, a business offer to them you'll have to offer them something like blah 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 so much of this what can you send me I'll be able to do this here blah 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 so many months I'll run your like you'll have to give them an offer that makes them feel like they're gonna make something off of it and that's the hardest part is actually writing out the agreement and figuring out what you want to offer to be able to get it because that's going to be the breaking point if they don't think you're going to be able to, if you're not going to if they don't think you're going to be worth it they're not going to sponsor you but the energy drink are going to give you but the energy drinks like I said are pretty much a guarantee so you'll always be able to fall back on those another thing to keep in mind is each sponsorship that you apply for these sponsorships and affiliate programs well they have a budget it's just like like government hospitals but like everything has a budget to it and sometimes you applied to that sponsorship when they've already run out of budget so they've used their budget up they already have enough streamers and you just happen to apply at the wrong time this is when I suggest you applying every six months or every so often not too close together but every so often so that you you find the open door when it's open it's not always because like I said like sponsorships like they have budgets and they can only spend so much so maybe they can only take on five and you applied after they're done 
none of that. So they just can't take you in because they can't afford you on the budget. That sometimes does happen, and every sponsorship does have a budget. So you'll have to keep that in mind. You may have to apply more than one time to hit the good time for when they renew the budget or when they're looking for more people. Not every not every sponsor is looking for people all of the time. And definitely don't spam the messages like I said before. You only need to get in the bad side of one person checking emails and you get put in the auto trash. So definitely do not peeve anyone off when you're trying to get a sponsorship. Now, that doesn't mean take everything that they offer because if it's not good, just don't take it. Just don't be rude. Keep that in mind. Be super friendly to them. We're just going to go over a quick recap of how to apply and how to get them. I already showed you and I already took you through the steps. That's as easy as it is. There's no more to go over. That's it. That's all you got to do is you just need to look for them. You need to put in the work for them. You need to find them and you need to apply for them. But you'll have to find the ones that you want without a huge list of a million sponsors that could not cover all in one video. I just showed you the three easiest ones to like search up and go over so that you understand how to find these on your own. That's pretty much the tools I want to provide here is just how to look for them, how to find them. As a small creator, this here could actually be important information to you later on when you're trying to get these here things. So as a small recap, one was have an active community with more than three viewers. And I'm sorry to bash on three viewers, but this is something that you need to understand. You need to be more than that. That's not enough to get a sponsorship or reach out for offers. That's just barely starting. Most people struggle at that for the first year or two, depending. Anyone that's doing really good and community building is going to have a lot more than that a lot faster. So they're going to look at those people first. So if you're falling, if you're stuck at the three for a quite a while, it's just something you'll need to learn how to build your community first. And it sucks to say that, but that's just the way it is. You all, you all need to have a larger community to make these here work better for you. Building your community is time better spent than looking for sponsors at three average viewers. Two is content. Posting content in more than one place does a lot more for you than you know. If you're not very, very large in a single space, like if you're not a top gamer and pulling in like half of Twitch viewers, make sure you have content other places. It looks bad for from the sponsor side of you when a creator is only gaming a single game and not doing anything, not clipping anything, not making any other kind of content. You just look lazy. You're sitting there in gaming. Sponsors aren't going to look at you unless you're actually pulling in a big crowd of people that want to buy all your stuff. So the one in a million chance that you're that one guy, make your videos, put your content other places, make sure it looks like you're doing some work. And like I said, if you're only streaming one type of content on Twitch, the chances of making it only doing that one content in one platform is so many more chances in a million than if you spread out. At least you have a chance on YouTube, you have a chance on TikTok and a chance on Twitch when you're posting to more than one of blowing up. And that's that many more viewers. It's that much better it looks on you. When someone goes and checks you out and you only have a Twitch link and they're asking you for three, if you don't fill out those three links, are, are they going to take you serious? I wouldn't take you serious. If you're going to apply for the job and I need three requirements on your resume and you show up with zero of them, I'm going to leave you at the door. Bro, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it works. If you if you don't make any of those requirements, like you're not coming in. That's just the way it is. So you have to think about things like that a little bit when you're applying for these here things. So make sure that you post your content on multiple platforms because because if you're gonna stick to a single platform, single game, things like that, you're gonna need to be 10 times bigger on a single platform to have the same impact as being smaller on a lot more platforms. It looks better to be small on three platforms than it, than it does to look good on a single platform playing a single game and not doing anything else. Because it does look lazy if all you're going to do is just sit for four hours and play your game. You should play your game for two hours and edit and create content for some results for the other two hours. And show that you're going to do effort and put effort in and work in. If sponsors see that, it just looks better on you and you have a higher chance. You don't have to. That's on you. That's whatever you feel works for you that this is just my advice and some of my opinions but that's just a I think a great place to start is just understanding those concepts if you already have content a lot of places you're already on a really good start and if you're just streaming apex on twitch this I'm sorry but I don't mean to laugh but there's 375,000 of y'all just fighting over the same 10 viewers isn't gonna look near as good as you make an apex how-to content and two other different types of funny content short content on another platform it's just going to look so much better if you have a variety already started and it looks like you have a lot of effort put in already. Number three is Google is your best friend. Use it to find sponsor programs. You want to make sure you already use and enjoy. So products that you enjoy and have on your desk, things you'll buy over again and suggest to your friends and family. If you're not willing to suggest it to your family, it's not good enough to suggest to your audience. They're going to they're gonna be a lot meaner than your family and if it's not a good product, they're going to
going to be a lot harsher on you and it's going to reflect on you a lot worse. I've seen communities destroyed over a bad product. And if you're going to be that streamer that's just going to support any old product, every single person that buys that product in the end, if it turns out bad, you're going to lose half of them that are going to actually blame you for wasting their money. So just keep that in mind. It's a make sure it's a product that you super enjoy. Google is your friend. Make sure you do your research and just Google every single time you want a product. Google it affiliate program. Google it with a couple more keywords affiliate program, influencer, or partner program are really th three key features to look for on Google. And I definitely suggest to take care when picking ones that you want. Make sure that you're willing to put your name on it. Four, put the work in. If you're putting the work in and making the content and have an active community, you're good. This, that, you're just good. It's a good start. But if you don't have that, you're going to need to be putting in a lot more work a lot more effort before you're actually ready for a sponsorship from anyone. That's unfortunate. You need to put work in. You need to have some stuff going. You need to be flowing. You need to be doing community stuff. If you're not doing any of those here things, you might not be ready for a sponsorship and you should be working on other things. Five, even though I said all that there stuff, apply to them anyways. Even if you don't think you will get anything, if you don't get it, if you can't even imagine that you will get it, apply for it. The worst thing they're going to say is no, just be respectful. Don't annoy them. Don't spam them. You definitely don't want to get put in the auto trash. That is not a place you want to be. It stumps your career really early, get you on a, a red list, red flags of you don't want to be there. So that's something to think about. It doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to apply. And it'll give you some practice on how to apply for a sponsor. And it's going to take a few different times with a few different sponsors before you're actually going to get one that's going to take you serious and it does take a lot of practice just even what you need to type out needs to be very specific and well typed or they're not going to take you serious it's like writing a resume if you just scribble some stuff on there the person reading your resume is going to take the one that looks better it's the same way with sponsorships you need to make sure that you butter it up a little bit make it sound professional and just don't ramble on like I do in my videos because they don't like that <laughs> and I'm sorry guys that I'm taking so long to go through it this is just something I really wanted to cover and I believe it deserves a big explanation. Like I said, I'm having a lot of people come to me asking about sponsors and stuff when they're still at three average viewers. A lot of people in that range just aren't ready for it. Six is stream only. Streaming only to make money is a lost cause. So if you're on here and you're only streaming to make money and you're just jumping on every sponsorship, you have three average viewers, you're a lost cause. Just plain and simple. You're you're wasting time. It's it's not the place for you. You shouldn't be here if that's all you're trying to do is make get a nine to five if you're here to make money. If you're not having fun doing this here the chances of you sitting in your chair and doing a bunch of stuff that's not fun that you don't enjoy is just gonna be a lot slimmer the less you enjoy it so if you're just doing it for money you're it's not gonna last unless you start making good money right away and you're gonna burn out from that and you're gonna lose interest and it's just gonna go to waste so all the effort up to that their point you're just gonna end up wasting when you give up on it so make sure that you enjoy it don't just do it for the money that's one of the most important things I can say is a lot of people are out here doing it for the money and burn out because they are expecting to make more. It took me two years to start making money on YouTube. Two years of posting a video every single Monday. I have 250 videos before I started making a single penny. If you're not willing to put that much time in and 250 videos, uh, 418 hour stream, if you're not willing to put that much energy into it, you won't get a sponsor. Someone my size is not getting a sponsor I don't I applied for a couple of them and I've worked with a few smaller ones like Swift Energy and in with them there for a little bit but it's not like it was making a lot of money I'm only a small size I knew I wasn't ready for it yet I applied for the experience and I wanted to have this here experience for to be able to help others get to that as well and I wanted to like go over it as much detail as possible so that I can take everyone through the process I went through I didn't know and a lot of streamers didn't tell me when I was first starting like they said be a certain but they didn't give you any specifics and they didn't just break it to me the way I want. I shouldn't have been chasing it when I was three viewers. What a waste of time I did for the first year that I was streaming trying to figure out how I was going to get sponsors. If I would have spent that time building my community, I'd be twice the size today than I was. But no, I wasted hundreds of hours doing research, looking into things, applying for sponsorships that I wasn't ready for. That's why I made this year video is because I definitely think at the first starting of streaming, my first two years looking for sponsors was a huge waste of my time. I think that's going to be the same for everybody. There's going to be some affiliate programs. Like I said, if you have some people that like buying the stuff that you buy that you might make a little bit of benefit of but for 30 or 40 
$1,000 a year your first years. Just don't expect a whole bunch when you first get started. And that was where I went wrong. I was expecting to get sponsored when I was less than a year in. And it just isn't how it works. Like nobody knows your name. And that's important too. Like you got to get your name out there. The bigger your community, the more you're spread, the more places you're getting seen, the more chances there are that someone's going to see you and be like, oh, maybe he's going to make it. We'll give him a sponsor. Let's check him out. Let's try this here out. And then they're going to give you an offer. But if you're in it just to make money, you're going to lose interest. It's probably not going to make it near as much because you're not going to want to do it at the, the, at the rate and at the, and you're not going to be able to put the energy in that it's actually going to be required for it to make it somewhere. So streaming only for money is probably not good for getting sponsorships. If that's all you're doing is chasing subscriptions and sponsorships and don't have any more than like 10, 15, 20 average viewers, then I think you're a lost cause because I think you're going to burn out before you ever make enough money to be it worth your time or to make you feel like you're actually making it. So I feel like your first couple of dollars are going to be more discouraging if you go that way. Now, don't get me wrong. These are just my opinions, but that is something I strongly believe. If you're here for fun, I think it's going to last because you're just enjoying making the content. It's something you're going to do even when the times are tough. But if you're grinding and you've got 200 videos out and you've only made a couple pennies and things start to get tough, you're gonna it's going to be a lot easier to give up if you're just only streaming for the money and you're not streaming for fun and streaming with your friends and stuff like that. So take a step back and just reevaluate why you actually want to be on here streaming. If you just want to make a living and this is going to be your job, this is not the video for you because you're probably not going to make it to a sponsorship. And it feels bad, but if you're just chasing dollars, you're better off with a 9 to 5. Only, what, 0.1% streamers even make enough to pay rent. So that's another thing to keep in mind. You're chasing a sponsor, you need to be that 1%. You need to be that 0.1% percent and those guys barely barely make rent so that's something to think about when you're making content do it for fun first and if you make it that's great that's the way to go and it'll just it, if you make some money you'll be a lot more happy to make fifty dollars if you're not expecting to make anything than making fifty dollars when you're trying to pay rent so definitely don't go that route when you're looking for sponsors like i said don't do it just for the money do it for a product that you love and want to put your name on something that inspires you something that you super want to promote so make sure it's important to you in some way i I think that's a key feature for the don't just stream for money. That's really it. A lot more in here that I could talk about. But a lot of smaller streamers reaching out and asking how to get sponsors. This is how you do it. You take the time on Google. You take the time with building your community. And some of you are just not ready for it. And in, instead of me saying it 200 times, I figure I would cover this in a full subject, a full video covering it. So so more than just know if they're even ready for this to begin with before they should even ask questions. Should they be reaching out? Uh, just take all this in consideration. Don't take it all to heart, though. Definitely take it with a grain of salt and apply if you think if you're ready. Those are the things that are important you have to feel ready for them as well and like i said if you're three average viewers and think you're ready you're not that's not the right spot you definitely need to be in the 10 plus please be in the 10 plus three average viewers do not get sponsors very easily unless you have like a really pop in community that you only have a three average viewer by accident or are on other platforms beside twitch and like get lots of views get lots of millions of views on tiktok would be the equivalent of three average viewers so keep that in mind as well different platforms will have different requirements for sponsors and affiliate programs and just even the sponsorship from that program i hope this here help you figure out if if nothing else if you're ready for it but just how to locate and how to use google to find your sponsorships and affiliate programs so please take this here advice more as uh, suggestions on what to wait for and what to do and i hope the just showing you how to run the Google and how to find them. I hope that there opens up a couple doorways so that you can find the ones that you like and you can find your own from here on out. I hope this here opens up a few doors for people that just didn't know that it's just as easy as looking on Google. It's just a simple answer. If you're looking for a sponsorship or an affiliate program, you just Google search it to see if there's one to begin with. Sometimes you'll have to call numbers and send emails, but like I said, it's mostly just apparent. Like this one here is right on the front screen. You just click it and apply. Most of them are just that easy. I'm still learning a lot of this here myself because I've only dealt with like a handful of sponsorships myself but I was one of those people at three average viewers that was begging for help from every streamer and asking a bunch of people how do I get sponsors and I just wasted a bunch of my time I wish I would have waited till I was a lot more viewers now that I have 13 1400 subscribers and I get 35,000 views a month I have no problem with it when I reach out I know the size of sponsors that are going to look at me and they're small because I have a very small community 35,000 views a month is hardly not I, I need 10 times that before I start reaching out to 
like places that are bigger than MSI Gaming. Like if I want Razer, if I want Elgato, I need to be so much bigger. But there's a lot of small places that will look at somebody making that much for views. Like 30,000 views is good for YouTube. I have like 8,000 watch hours. Twitch, 10 plus average viewers is good. Your following doesn't matter as much on Twitch as your average viewers. Your average viewers on Twitch is very important. That lets them know that you're maintaining a community and maintaining your viewers, which is actually really hard to do. And I find uh, YouTube is easier because your videos can just a lot more people on there searching and you can hit a lot more genres. That's just an IMO though. That's just a personal opinion. TikTok I found the hardest because your requirements require you to have like 10,000 followers just to start streaming and the money on there for ads and stuff is a little bit complicated. So you'll definitely want sponsors if you're if you're TikTok streaming and stuff because I think uh, what they pay for ads and stuff like that isn't is is pretty low compared to the competitors. So make sure you compute your make sure your community building, you have a half decent size. Learn how to build a community is more worth it than chasing after the sponsorships if you're a certain size. That's one of the main key points. They will not pay you or sponsor you at so few viewers for really anything. And it's tough to say that and I know I've said it like 10 times, but it's just you're not going to get a thing with under 10 average viewers and 10k followers, even if you have 10k followers and 10 average viewers, you're not really, those aren't really good numbers. That's not something that puts you in line with a sponsorship, but it does help you out if you're looking for affiliate programs. Like I said in the beginning, affiliate programs are a lot easier for smaller communities to get because you're doing the work to sell their product and you get paid a commission. And a sponsorship is just paying you directly to sponsor their ad. So you have to be worth so much more for a sponsorship to look at you because it's direct money in your pocket where the, the company that's going to give you an affiliate program is going to sell you the merch at their no loss. They're not losing anything. You get it. You get pay full price for it. And then you get a chance to when your community buys it, you, you to make a dollar off everyone you sell. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely hit those up. But if you're around that, they're followers and that those are the things you should be, should be looking for is affiliate programs and not sponsors if you want to still reach out to a couple but make sure you reach out to sponsors that are appropriate sizes make sure that it's not a huge company that everyone's going to be applying to because the chances are those are already full on their budget and you're not going to have a, they're not going to have a space for you so the smaller the company the better chances for a smaller streamer or content creator to be able to get those that's just another thing to keep in mind but that's everything for this one here. I don't have anything else to say about it. I gave a few of my opinions at the end there, but that's how you find them, how you apply for them. It's just as easy as Google, click the affiliate program, and that's it. But I'm out for this one here. That's all the information I had for this one. If you think I forgot or left something out, please leave it down in the description below, and I'll try to make updates to this here in the future. This is the first type of video I made like this here, so it's going to be, it's more of a rambling video and a talking video with a small how-to in the part of it. I'm sorry I talked so long, guys. I just wanted to thank you so much for Stick around for it. If you're still here at the end, definitely smash the thumbs up button, get subscribed. I'll definitely be making updates to it. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and peace out. Till next time, goodbye.